another tying video hi gentlemen so uh, today we're gonna tie lady caroline but i'm gonna do a twist on it uh, my take uh, I, I always change the out the gray hair on i think it's boring and um, so uh, yeah let's begin there we are i got um alec jackson uh, hook one and a half uh, in the size i made my own blend uh, two parts brown and one green for the body so let's just start to attach the tail that's going to be breast feather from the golden pheasant so just tie it in here there we go And I'm going to use three different tinsels, so one gold flat, one oval gold and one oval silver tinsel. So I'm just tying this one in. different starting points it was a very long time since I tied proper spray flies but then they fish really good See how this will work out. So going back. So on the other side, I'm gonna have the gold one. And here's the twist, I'm using a uh, light brown instead of a uh, grey here on. I think this one looks pretty nice. So let me see if we get in the room here to work. So there's a few ways to attach uh, the feather, either you do it uh, backward or you can do it in front and then uh, wind it backwards and then tie it in with the tinsel etc. Or if you have like a blue haired pheasant short feathers then you can start with one in the back and one in the middle, tying in uh, the first one, secure it and then continue with the second one. And I got the uh, yeah plenty of feathers so here on and so on, but I, I don't use here on that often. But I, maybe I need to do the black here on uh, etc. Or oh, black king, green king. I love those. So, the one I blended myself, brown, green ish.
<clears throat> Doesn't take much bull at all to complete the body. Let's so get that one out of the way. There we are. a little bit this school is lovely I use it all the time I don't know where to where to get it anymore any normal wool would do really So there we are. Now I like to rub it up a bit. Shouldn't be that far on me. So you see I got plenty of wool left. So I might tie another one after. So then I'm gonna start with the flat gold one first. I'm not cutting it yet, uh, just in case. So what I'm gonna do is to apply the silver one. So I do that one in between. I'm satisfied with that, so I'm gonna cut it off. And then we have this one. See if it's long enough. Looks a bit uh, close, I would say. Might have to take one and do a few turns at the head but let me see how it turns out so I just 
gonna have my little brush here. Yeah, I might take yeah, a few turns at the head just to get some more volume there. find another one so it was a bit small though but it's okay So that one is gonna go the opposite way. Then we need the dubbing needle. No, the gold tinsel, sorry. <laughs> and you don't wanna tie in all the, the fibers. just gonna cross the flat gold one Secure that one. And then just brush the fibers a bit. Let's apply a bit more fiber in the front. It looks a bit naked. I think a couple of turns gonna sort that out. turns yes it's gonna be too much it's gonna overtake uh, we're gonna have a front tackle as well from the golden pheasant breast feather so now it uh, looks 
way better. Yes, can I? Prepare this one to be tied in. And the world spay flies are really nice to fish with. Over D, same there. Nice, really nice. So my intention is to fish with this one. Uh, next year, the season is over here. I'm just gonna use it all. So it's going to wax the thread, apply a few turns with wax thread to make sure it's really, really fix, uh, fixed. That looks good, huh? So now, mallard roof. So I got some uh, mallard here. Just gonna pick out the sweet spots. Just having a look there, how it's gonna turn. And I will uh, remove the stem. So I'm cutting that one off. And then we're just gonna find another one uh, on the other side. There we go. Just cutting that one off. Then we're gonna cut off the stem as well. And now we can add them together. So I'm 
just moving this one a bit. fiber it's going away there Oops. I've been playing too much with it so plan B we had more that uh, I can add one at a time. Then I just rebend it. There we go. So I'm just going to cut uh, everything here and uh, wax the thread a bit and then varnish a few times. Guys, that was it. My take on uh, Lady Caroline, the way I do it. So we call it a, a version of it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. So uh, make sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. And see you in the next video. I'll schedule the live for Saturday next weekend. So uh, if you have time, see you in that one. Bye. <music>